and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock with Bill. This is part three. Now a couple more mutants. guys pop up everywhere. Let's turn on the lights. Again, we'll take the ammo and discard the extra weapon. Sensor round unit lets you see behind you. The better ones will actually show up more in real time, and I think they use less power. But we're not going to leave that running. Survivors can hear me. Please. Some of us are still resisting Shodan. We have a sanctuary in Beta Quadrant, guarded by a radioactive trench. There's a force bridge that operates off a wiring panel. If you're coming in from Alpha, our guards will extend the bridge for you. Be very careful. The mutants are all over the corridors. Good luck. Well, I already been to that area and looks like they lost. Medical access. Gives you a reason to go into cyberspace. And here we go. Software is like weapons and shields. Let's 
these tunnels kind of push you around a little bit, so you got to be careful not to hit the mines. Controls are kind of way sensitive in, in here. Now we've got a shield. That was the switch we were looking for. And now we need to find the exit. It is right there. This door is now open. Man, lots of minutes.
Yeah, we've been here before. Man, mutants everywhere. Status report. We're holed up in the beta quadrant behind a radioactive trench. The mutants are scavenging for food in the corridors and nesting in gamma. I sent a party to the west wing for supplies maybe 12 hours ago. Nathan Dorsey is thinking up ways to disable the mining leader. Where was that guy? Like the stun gun. I don't think it's very effective. Another pipe. They're trying to jam transmissions. We have some This elevator serves me alone. I have complete control of this entire level. With cameras as my eyes and nodes as my hands. I rule here. So I guess we have to get rid of the security before we can go in there. Now we're back to the central hub. Oh, that's 
that's where he was. Well, I guess we'll heal and save. Carl has come back from recon without Alan. He says they took Alan into a room marked Cyborg Conversion, and now he's a cyborg assassin. Carl marked the room with the word here before he ran. One of the technicians says we can just flip a switch and make the converter a surgery unit again. With only 12 of us left, though, it may be an academic point. Al should have been leader. Alright, now we're healed back up. Power again. They seem to be getting thicker. And we'll save right here again.